Lateral surface area. The lateral surface area, or LSA, of a geometric solid is the surface area of only the lateral side of the solid. The following figure gives an illustration of the total surface area of a cylinder. So the total surface area would be the circular faces plus the lateral face. So we have the area of each circular face plus the area of the lateral face makes up the total surface area. Hence, we have the area of a circle twice, and then the area part that is the lateral surface area, which when we roll it out and lay it flat, is basically a rectangle with length side being the circumference of a circle, and then the width side the height. So it's really just that circumference, 2 pi r times h. The lateral surface area of the cylinder is the area of only this lateral side, so just 2 pi r times h, LSA. Here's an example for finding lateral surface area of a cylinder. If we have a cylinder with radius 2 and height 6, then we can find the lateral surface area with this lateral surface area formula. We just plug in 2 for the radius and 6 for the height, simplify, plug this in the calculator to get approximately 75.4 as the lateral surface area of the cylinder. The lateral surface area of a cone is the surface area of the red region on the lateral side of the cone. So it's this lateral side. It does not include the circular base of the cone. Following is an illustration of the lateral surface area of a cone and the formula for finding the lateral surface area of a cone. So lateral surface area is half circumference of the circle, which represents one side, times the height that slant height. HS is for slant height. So this would be the height from the regular height from the base of the cone to the vertex. Slant height is this height of the slanted side of the cone, HS. So lateral surface area is half of 2 pi r times HS, which simplifies to pi r HS. In some problems, slant height may also be referred to as just S.